about radio. So I'm going to cut a, uh, a little gear. I'll turn this little pulley into a, a gear. So I'll put it on a quarter inch drill because that's the size of the shaft. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut, or I'm going to mark it at every um, 72 degrees. What I'm going to do is uh, with my automatic dot punch, I'm just going to put a little dot there. It'll be a bit little, and I really ought to sharpen my dot punch. But I'm not going to. There you go, that should be there. So Seventy-two. I'm just uh, roughing this out by hand now. Um, I could uh, set it up on the dividing head and the, the lathe and uh, cut a little gear uh, the way I know I ought to. But you know, I have more fun doing uh, this um, as uh, you know I, I, I just have fun doing it okay you can see I've got a I've got to go deeper into the root of the uh, gear but in principle it's not a million miles away and, uh, there's no uh, there's no sort of backlash in there I need to go down a bit deeper on each of these. So what I'm doing is I've got the uh, gear on the uh, on this drill, and then to actually measure the depth, I've got a, another drill at the back. Oops, Let's see where I am. And what I'll do is I'll drill down until the hacksaw just catches the drill then I know it's at the same depth. Not that I would say elegant uh, uh, <laughs> practice but at least um, I shall know that each of those slots uh, are down to the same sort of uh, diameter. Let's get in there. Uh, I've been using a, a square file so far just to start it, then uh, a triangular file, and now I'm using uh, a half round file. Ooh, very badly clogged up half round file. Uh, I should clean that really. Um, and take that off. Um, Unless you've actually done something like this, you've no idea just uh, how satisfying it is to uh, uh, just to play like this. So just uh, pop it onto my little uh, jig again, just to try it, and I'll show you from above. I, I guess it could be hard for some folks to sort of uh, see how this could possibly be. Uh, in any way related to radio but to me uh, radio uh, incorporates a lot of things um, and uh, there's a bit of mechanics and uh, a bit of electronics and uh, from the sort of work I've done there's even some plumbing with uh, water cooled uh, uh, RF equipment anyway that's that's getting there I've still got a bit of work to do um, uh, just start on shaping those um, but uh, hopefully you, uh, you you get the principle of the thing. Uh, I've got to just take a little bit off. The only thing that you can do with these is take too much off. Once you remove too much, um, then uh, <laughs> there's, there's no going back. Well, you can, you, you can go deeper um, and uh, recover a little bit because as yet I haven't set the distance between the center of there and the center of this so uh, I can make the, the sprocket um, 
uh, whatever size I want but uh, um, in principle uh, that's that's looking not too bad it's not perfect yet I'm just finishing off the uh, the basic profile with a little round file and uh, I'll show you why in a second and so I just turn it round and go through both sides uh, something like equal but remember that the sprocket that's on the bottom of the rotator was uh, originally designed uh, for use um, on a, uh, a chain, uh, not a uh, not a, another gear. So I'm just going around, just tidying up by eye, uh, doing what I think is right. It's very satisfying, as I say, and it's, if you've ever made a key for an old lock, um, it's extremely satisfying when you sort of finally put it in and it feels like a, a you know, a, a well-oiled lock and a, um, it's just a bit of fun, guys. Remember, the card on the right has been designed specifically for use with a chain whereas I've designed the little uh, gear to uh, be used with this cog. I'll slow this down so as you can take a good look. Note the point of contact from the gear on the right to the top of the gear on the left. It might look straightforward, but if you take a close look here, you'll see that I've profiled the gear such that when the cog on the right goes in the other direction, there is no backlash between the two gears. If I cut the slot too wide, then there would be uh, a gap and uh, the gears would be sloppy and I would get an inaccurate reading on my direction meter. Now look at the tip of this tooth as it plunges into the hole. It, it doesn't actually do anything until it gets to uh, this point around here. And then almost immediately the next tooth takes over the driving action. Now you'll see I've got contact here and here and here so you see it gets quite tricky. The next bit of video is uh, something that I shot before I uh, made the video that you've just seen. Every so often I get contacted by uh, people, let's say, um, they just like to see the way I think through a problem and, um, and that's nice, but I, I, I just share something with you. Uh, this is a project I'm working on for the um, uh, antenna rotator and I've got to drive a little uh, control that will tell me which direction this is pointing in. And um, I think, well, I want to just have a look and see what I can do. I've got plenty of jars with stuff in, and this uh, this is a jar of bits and pieces that are um, bits of video recorders, old projectors, and cameras. And um, looking at this, I found this fella, it's a little pulley, and I think that's off a projector, and that almost perfectly fits onto there and that's uh, for a, a little um, it's got a V in the pulley hope you can see that 
and that would have had like a, a spring belt um, that's, that's a, a rubber belt but if you can imagine a, a, a belt may have been a rubber belt I don't remember taking it apart so um, that, that belt will be off a video recorder so I guess I could simply put that on there and that would do the job um, uh, uh, so I hope I'm getting all that in shot so as that goes around and that would be the job done um, but this has got to go outside in the weather and uh, so I don't think that's that's good um, but then, uh, that's um, that's the sort of thing that comes off the top of one of these uh, let's get some more gas uh, one of these gas refill things and those are the the different nozzles and looking at the gears here it kind of makes me think well if I had something like this I wonder if I can do that that way off. if I had something that was like that that uh, I don't know if I can do this um, that was there and then as this device turns so uh, hopefully you will see that's going around so that might turn this and it sort of makes me think well if I was to cut some teeth in here then I could put that on there uh, and do it yeah, okay well no, no, no. Um, and then I look at this this is a bit of lead that I took off the, it was actually off the center of there and I think well if I uh, you know, I'll just make a little sort of model of that and just get some idea uh, could I actually cut the teeth in there and would it be any good so uh, everything I do I, I try to use something that was somebody else has already made or um, you know if I can modify something because this is all sort of uh, junky type um, uh, making things um, so uh, looking at that I just sort of think could I could I do something like this and rather than uh, scheme it all out and uh, work it all out on the computer or whatever I might think you know, okay, if I if I make something like that in principle would it work hole in the middle of that and all the time I'm, I'm looking at things or thinking of things and just sort of saying can I uh, can I use something that already exists um, so if I look at that and I think well yes if I get the teeth right there I could in fact get away with uh, um, uh, quite a, a, small, uh, a small wheel um, and there what I'm interested in is I don't want any backlash so anyway it's just one of those things so um, I may have gone from that being driven by a belt to that being turned into a cog and it was really seeing this <laughs> that gives me the inspiration for that. I've got other uh, gears and um, that are off uh, video drives. So I could make that all plastic so they'll be good for those drawers. I've got gears out of clocks. Um, but the, the inspiration comes for this lot. And if you've seen my... Um, one of my videos which is the 50 kilowatt roof mounted um, uh, wind turbine uh, the idea for that simply come because I saw the blue sky and I thought that's just like a blue screen I've got Photoshop I can use that blue sky I'll have a play anyway um, I just, that's, uh, and I also get <laughs> distracted very easily anyway I, I hope you find that uh, interesting um, uh, but what I will do is I'll think about this for the uh, for the antenna project. Okay, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Bye bye.